And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church, and thank you for choosing Philadelphia to worship. We would like to welcome all of our first-time visitors. Make yourself at home. And for those who are from out of state, please visit our Welcome Center in the foyer for a token of love to you. For our online family tuning in, we pray the presence of God would be in your home or wherever you are. This week is a regular week at Philadelphia with Monday through Friday noonday prayer. If you're available on your lunch break, stop by and stand in agreement with the saints in praying for the world, the United States, Louisiana, and the church. Tuesday Bible study will be at 7 p.m. Join us. If you missed last Bible study, download the Philly app right from your app store. It's available on Android and Apple devices. Just search for PCC Lafayette. School of Prayer will be at 6.15 p.m. on Thursday evening. Be with us for corporate prayer and learn how to pray and stand in agreement with the saints. This is where many of us learn how to pray to the Father out loud and how to come boldly before His throne of grace. See you there. The fire ministry, the free indeed recovery experience, will be postponed during the month of September and will resume in October. See you then. All married couples are encouraged to join us for the marriage ministry on this Friday night, September 13th at 7 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Mark your calendars for Baptism Sunday on September 22nd. The next step after salvation is to go to the water. Remember to bring a change of clothes and wear dark colored clothing. The new membership class is scheduled for Wednesday, September 25th. So you have been coming to church for a while, and now you want to make Philadelphia your official church home. Then join us on September 25th and learn the history, doctrine, and mission of Philadelphia. See you there. The new membership class is also open to anyone living out of state. You'll be able to join us on live stream to be a part of the class. The single ladies are having a sleepover on Friday night, September 27th at 7 p.m. at the Pine Street location. More details to come. The nursing home ministry will be visiting Magnolia States Nursing Home located at 1511 Dulles Drive. Arrive for 145 to open in prayer. See you there. The Hebrew softball season games has officially come to a close with playoff and championship games played on Saturday. We would like to congratulate our 2019 HSL Women Champions, Soul Survivors. and our men's league champions, Empowered. Also, our seven through nine-year-old team, Team Impact. Also, our 12 through 15-year-old team, Cross Seekers. And our 10 through 11-year-old, Hebrew Hitters. We would like to thank all teams who participated in this year's season. Today at 3 p.m., join us for the Hebrew Home Run Derby and All-Star Games at Arsenal Park behind Celebrity Theater in Broussard. Let's take a moment and check out our next Philly testimony. Philly, what's happening? I'd like to introduce y'all to the new rap group that's coming out, Christ Light. Nah, I'm playing, I'm playing. Listen, y'all, I'm standing next to Brother Lance and his wife. I have a question of the day for y'all. And the question of the day is, who invited y'all to Philadelphia? Well, for us, uh, man, Philly was, uh, it was a blessing in the sky. We actually, uh, I had been watching YouTube, Pastor Stephen Darby, and uh, really getting into, you know, the Hebrew message and stuff. It was mind-blowing to me at the time, being how long I would been saved and been in the Word. And uh, from the recommendation videos at the bottom, I wound up getting connected with Pastor Omar. And I looked at it, and I'm like, that's Pastor Omar from Lafayette, Louisiana. And uh, I was in connection with another um, uh, woman of God here that actually invited me out to the campaign that he did on uh, Moss. Uh, So that was my first encounter. And when I got to the campaign that day, um, you know, it was something that I had never seen before. That many people of our people together on one accord, loving one another and just being under the word, man, of that revelation. So it was a blessing, man. I got you. One more question before I let y'all go. So y'all coming here for the first time, listening to the pastor, sitting down, whether it was a Sunday or a Tuesday, describe 
the feeling y'all had when y'all first came? Man, uh, I mean, for me, man, it was uh, mm. it was it was mind blowing, man. We was coming from from a place of uh, being in famine, you know what I'm saying? It was a real place where the word of God was lacked at. Uh, we wasn't really being uh, fed the way we wanted to, and at the same time, all we really had was what we really had in our own personal relationships, man. We had never really knew what it was to have a real pastor. So coming here, man, and sitting under the word that day, it was like, wow, you know, uh, God is really ministering through this man of God, and, and it really fed us that day, man. Um, for me, it was as if I was um, an empty cup, and... Um, Sitting down, listening to Pastor Omar bring the word, it was as if that empty cup, me, my, I was getting filled. And um, that was the best feeling ever. And um, we never stopped coming. So thank y'all for all that y'all do passing first lady. Thank you. That's what's up. So listen, Christ like in stores. Now y'all go pick the album up. The hit single is We Cut Up For Jesus. <laughs> Right now, it's time for the good news of the week. Let's give a happy birthday to Megan King, who turned 39 today. Happy birthday. Happy 16th birthday to Amari on today, September 8th. Love dad, mom, and Bria. For your good news to be featured on the good news of the week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. It's phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. We must receive you by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays and Tuesdays announcements. Well, Philly family, those were your announcements. Stand to your feet. It's worship time. 